Internal Structure of the Heart Let us now look at the internal structure of the heart. There are four chambers present in the heart. The two chambers on the top are called atria. Each one is called an atrium. As we can see, there are two larger chambers below the atria. These are called ventricles. Observe that the walls of the ventricles are thicker than the walls of the atria as they need to pump blood to the lungs as well as throughout the body. The right atrium collects deoxygenated blood from the body and pumps it into the right ventricle. We can see that the valve is present between the two chambers, which prevents the blood flowing back from the right ventricle into the right atrium. This valve is called a tricuspid valve, as it has three cusps, or flaps. The right ventricle then contracts and pumps the deoxygenated blood to the lungs through the pulmonary arteries. On the left side, we can see that the top chamber, the left atrium, collects oxygenated blood through the pulmonary veins and pumps it into the left ventricle. Again, a valve is present to prevent the blood from flowing back from the left ventricle into the left atrium. This valve is called a bicuspid valve as it has two cusps or flaps. The left ventricle then contracts to pump the oxygenated blood throughout the body through the aorta. Note the heart tendons, which support the bicuspid and tricuspid valves so they can function properly, especially when the ventricles contract. We can also see another set of valves called the semilunar valves, which are one-way valves that prevent the blood flowing back into the ventricles. There is a wall present between the two halves of the heart. It is called the septum, and it separates the oxygenated blood from the deoxygenated blood. 